Hello everyone, welcome to 7666 Otters Pool Street. Now if anyone's curious, I actually have a rental on the same street. <laughs> so for privacy purposes, I'm not gonna tell you. Um, but I will say I love this neighborhood. Guys, we're out in Windsor Hills. This is a three bedroom listed for, I believe, 750, or excuse me, excuse me, 459. Um, the home is probably the most attractive listing in the neighborhood on photos. In person though, right now I will say I'm not in love with the home. There's a few things that are honestly not incredible about it. Um, it needs a completely fresh coat of paint. These walls haven't been painted probably in a few years. Um, and I think uh, they used the very cheapest they could. Also, whatever they're doing to the tile, tile is not normally this color. Um, whatever cleaner they're using is using a uh, uh, some sort of chemical that is eating in the tile, which is where these grooves and divots are coming from. And it's kind of not the greatest. Um, it makes the tile look constantly dirty. So the laminate looks good. That's at least nice. And it looks like it was done well. Um, I'm out of breath though. So give me a chance to get my breath back. <laughs> Uh, our first downstairs, uh, very common layout. Um, I personally don't have my TV here. I actually have it behind the door right here. And I have a little um, like, kind of like stool right here that blocks the door from hitting it. The furniture looks okay. Personally, I'd probably try and maybe turn this into a Tarzan. I don't like the nightstands, but I love the wood. Um, it's just not my personal preference, you know. I'm not seeing any wear and tear or anything. The box springs look good. Checking out the rest of the home. Now this is a um, ensuite bathroom to this bedroom. I would change this light fixture. This vanity, you can see the wear and tear on it. Toilet's looking okay. I personally replace every single toilet in every rental or flip I've ever done. This bathroom, I think I'd probably glaze it, change the shower head. You can see it's just dirty. It's cheap. So on photos, the home looks gorgeous, but this is cheap and flimsy. So small stuff that I probably change. It's probably good enough to get running though. Got a brand new fridge, stainless steel appliances throughout, which is wonderful. Sinks a double, um, double deep sink. It looks like one of the um, Excuse me, one of the uh, uh, supports on the left side there is starting to fall off. Cabinets are fine. It looks like they've been painted in the past and they put the knobs in the wrong area, which is kind of interesting. But it's cute. I like the light green in here. It's light, bright, did a pretty good job. All the furniture is pretty decent. The couch is fine, the chair is fine. There actually, I think there's two chairs in the photo, so they're missing a chair. And this right here is completely worn. The carpet looks good. So I'd probably change this, get another chair. Um, and then they really should put a second support on this bar here. This is a lot of weight for this bar. And then if one kid falls, the entire thing is just gonna fall down. So I recommend putting a second support. It's a corner lot. Pool fence looks pretty good. You can see they're actually filling it up right now. Um, that could be because this is a south facing pool. They are gonna see higher levels of evaporation. Um, but if this is running like this all the time, you're always having to refill your pool. It's possible there could be a leak in the equipment or in the liner. Um, the liner doesn't look bad though. So I don't think that's what it is. Um, but on an inspection, we definitely check to make sure that all that looks fine. This door, by the way, this right door, does not open up. Only this door does. We've got a downstairs closet. This is very common. I actually keep all my stuff back there. I don't have this many strollers. I only have one stroller. And a water heater. You can see that's the original color of the tile. That's what it is now. Uh, it doesn't really show it on, on camera too well. This is just, it's a lot more, it's a lot less dirty. <laughs> now I'm running out of time here. I do have a guest checking in. 
And I often see this. Oh, it's actually stable. That's wonderful. A lot of time these are actually pretty weak. Um, so I like how this one's nice and stable. Going up, I've seen a lot of wear and tear on the paint. It is what it is. Just a fresh coat of paint would do this home a lot of good. Maybe painting the baseboards too. We've got a brand new AC unit and washer and dryer. It's wonderful. We've got the nice old boob lights. Just checking out the master first. You see they've got the traditional IKEA furniture. IKEA, IKEA. Nothing special about the, the master. I actually have a very similar bed frame on a king bed. I change the actual um, linens and sheets, most likely. I'd mount a 50 inch TV. Home's looking good though. We've got a pack and play, it looks like. That's good. And this is a uh, personal closet. I just keep all my personal belongings in there. So it's gonna be towels, linens, things that are gonna be extra for the cleaner. Toilet's looking good. Again, I recommend replacing all toilets. You can see this sink has had some wear done to it. They've repaired this at least two or three times. The sink's just not mounted correctly. They really need to check that. And these cabinets, you can see this starting to come off. It's just dated, it's old. Ooh, the shower's had a lot of repair done to it. See all of this? This just needs to be cut out. Oh, it's all, it's wet. I don't know why it's wet. Someone could have just cleaned this today. But yeah, this needs to be, I think glazed. You can probably get away with a good three coat glaze and a uh, clear coat. So what they do is an acrylic glaze over all the tile. It seals it. It's good for around three to five years. Um, a lot of companies will ensure their work as well. If you find someone that'll do a glaze for six, 700 bucks, that's too cheap in the Orlando area. They're only doing one coat without a glaze with a clear coat. I don't recommend those people. I personally had that done on my home and I'm eating the issue. Furniture's looking good. This bed frame's okay. You can see this one's got some wear and tear. Most likely it's because there's no ladder to get up. They're just climbing up on top of here to get to here. That's not safe. The ladder's actually, the ladder's probably supposed to go here and it broke off. Yeah, this needs to be taken down and changed. And our last bedroom. Still looking good. You guys can see I'm in my public attire today. So sorry about that. Attic access normally isn't here. Normally it's in the other side um, on the master. So interesting that that's there. And this has similar repairs as the master. So the home, I don't think this home's been taken care of wonderfully. It's got a lot of bells and whistles that are needed in order to be a great uh, rental. But things like the TVs, bed frames, um, flooring downstairs, small stuff needs to be adjusted in order for it to honestly be incredible. So that's going to be it for 7666 Otter Spool, guys. Let me know if you have any questions, okay? Bye.